Let's get fat women to do poses only fit gymnasts can do. Being a woman is hard because compliments and damage control the video. So without further ado, I present to you 36 questions feminists have for men. How does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? How does it feel to be the same sex as someone I personally politically disagree with? The man is literally Satan to these people. Like, you, they could have said Hitler. They basically meant Hitler. Trump is their Hitler. It's very trendy to hate Trump right now. I'm pretty left-leaning, but I've been called a Trump supporter like six times in the past few months. How does it feel to be the same gender as Trump? <laughs> How does it feel to be the same gender as, like, who do you disagree with? Like, Sarah Palin. I feel nothing! Hate yourself because someone I hate has a penis, and you too have a penis. Therefore, relevancy. Why do you hate rom-coms? Who? Why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours? Who? Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? Who are you talking about? Not every man on earth is your ex-boyfriend. Why are you surprised when women are funny? Listen, I know many are funny women. I know many a unfunny men. Men are not naturally funny. Women are not naturally unfunny. It is just a personality trait. There are a lot of theories behind it, and I'll probably go into that in a video I've been planning on to doing forever. I'm probably funnier than you. You are the girl in your group of friends who calls yourself the funny one, and then when you leave, they all call you the annoying one. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? What? I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. Well, look everyone, the funny one has shit to do. <laughs> it's so funny hooking up with men then making them leave and possibly toying with their emotions. <laughs> oh, you! Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? You know the whole key and the keyhole thing? Yeah, no. Do what you want. As long as both parties consent and know that it's just a fuck buddy situation, and as long as you're hurting nobody, you do you. You shouldn't care what others think about your personal life if they're not involved, including me. So, black girl with nose ring, from here on in, on this subject, please cover your ears, because you might hear opinions that you do not like. When men do it, they're congratulating. Why? By who? Other sluts? This is like the most repeated stupid feminist talking point I hear. I don't know any guy that's like, yeah man, you slept with all those chicks, man, yes, sluts. They're so hard to get. Wow, what an extreme achievement, bro. In my opinion, it's a huge red flag if a man or woman I am interested in has had many partners. That's not cool. Your dick has been, been in like 20 meat flaps. Your meat flaps has had like 20 dicks in it. That's disgusting. They're contaminated. Get it away from me. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? It sounds like you're talking about two different guys now. In what world does no mean yes? No means no. Are they talking about rape now? I was wondering when the inevitable mention of rape would occur. Why do you think that just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body? Yeah, nice guy syndrome is fucking embarrassing. I will give you that. Being nice is a basic human trait. It's, like, expected of all of us. Please develop more personality traits, because romantic attraction has to go both ways. Never mind this entire video is basically nice girl syndrome. I have a vagina. Please cater to me. How would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? Skeptics don't listen to this. Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women? I feel like these people have never actually talked to a guy in person. Like, their their vision of a group of men hanging out is, Hello, fellow men, isn't it awesome to harass women? Tits, 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 Donald Trump. No means yes. <laughs> Who wants to go rape some bitches? How does it feel to interrupt me when I... Feels pretty good. Why do you have to sit with your legs so wide open? Men have balls. Get that you have balls, but... No, no butts. Balls. I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. If their testicles were on their chest, no they wouldn't. But if your boobs were between your legs, yes you would. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex? Because on average, we are. It's a fact. Trigger warning. Fact. And we literally birth you. Our bodies are naturally designed to give birth. So yes, I guess women are better at giving birth than men. Why is it so bad to show your emotion? It means you're human. Why the patriarchy shames men about crying and showing their emotions, but we feminists are helping them stop that sexism. Why the f*** isn't it ladylike to cut? No, no, it's not polite to curse. Once again, gender is irrelevant, no surprise. I curse for 
comedic purposes, but you will never see me cursing in public or in front of my parents or people like that. Because it's rude and it's trashy. When I see guys walking around cursing for every other word, it's gross and it's no different for women. I swear to God, feminism has just become these 20-year-old and 30-year-old women bitching and moaning about things only preteen boys and old people.